What is going on, Inner Circle members? How you doing today? I hope you're having a great Thursday. I am done with practice. I'm here um, at my my apartment and uh, about to go to the gym and then probably second practice. But um, yesterday I did a video explaining why coaches uh, tell you they see the ball deep and uh, when all the power is out front. And I explained that, um, and you should go watch that video first before watching this video. And so what is this video? This video is um, how to get at least two hits a game or a double in high school. So either two hits or a double in high school. And I'll explain why. Because yesterday I explained being deep um, or hitting the ball deep and then um, also you know, uh, hitting the ball out front, and you want to go see that video first. So um, let's get right into it. First of all, um, I'm going to draw this. So let me click this right here. I'll click that. Boom. Okay. So here is the plate. Okay. All right. Here's the plate. And obviously, the mounds over here, I'm just going to go and just do this to put the mound right there. Um, terrible, but yeah, you get the picture. So the mound is right there, okay? Um, and your kid is hitting. Well, the first thing is in high school, most pitchers, if not all, um, and I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to say 99% of pitchers, they have, they do this, they throw away. So if you're a right-handed hitter, let's say, you know, this is me, young Jay Kurt right here, um, you know, with the weird legs. We're going to go right here with this bat, um, and we're going to put a black bat. So, yeah, that, I don't know what that is, but, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So, um, and then we're going to put a little smirk right there. So I got the bat, and the picture's right here, and I'm here, okay? But... Pitchers are throwing the ball here. They're throwing the ball here. Pitchers in high school never throw the ball inside. And inside is the toughest. I'm going to give a T right there because it's super tough to hit. It's the most, it's the toughest pitch to hit because it speeds you up. This pitch is easier because you have time to see the ball because it's away from you and your eyes can see an angle. So it's easier to hit this pitch. But this is what high school pitches, pitchers are taught. So they're throwing the ball away. So the first thing I would do, and this is what I did when I was in high school, first thing I did was I got closer to the plate. So if I was normally here, I started hitting here because they don't throw inside. And high school pitchers do not want to hit the batter. So I would start getting closer to the plate. Um, I'm not going to say be right on top of the plate, but get a little bit closer. So then you can hit this pitch right here. And since I, I was telling you guys in my drills, you guys got all these drills, but you don't understand how you can use these drills. So being a consistent hitter, so we're going to go with, we're going to put a C right there. You're trying to be a consistent hitter and you're going to see the ball deeper. So you're doing drills to that you you're doing drills to let the ball come to you and see the ball deep. So this plays right into your swing because they're throwing the ball here. Okay, so if you're seeing the ball deeper, you're going to be able to hit this one. Bam. So let's say you're a power hitter. Okay, you're a power hitter and uh, you want to do damage. And so what I realized in high school was that since I got on top of the plate, this pitch becomes like a middle, like down the middle. So I got on top of the plate and it became like down the middle because you know, the umpires are terrible in, in high school. So let's just put a G right there cause they're garbage. So yep, garbage umpires. Um, but you know, I like umpires and you know, they, they, uh, they're giving their best out there. So I don't want to truly disrespect them, but you know, some of them are garbage. And some of these umpires are calling strikes here, okay? And they're striking guys out when the ball's in the other batter's box. 
But anyways, let's get back to the topic. So I got closer to the plate, and when they're throwing here, I was able, it was almost like they were throwing down the middle. And then I could just basically catch that ball out front, and that was the double, and that was the home runs. So consistent hitter, you're already um, – that you're already geared for this pitch because you're seeing the ball deep. So you're you're going to hit the ball to right center if you're a, a right-handed hitter, and if you're a left-handed hitter, you're going to hit it to left center because you're geared because you're seeing the ball deep. For you know hitters that are trying to be a power hitter or working towards being a power hitter, you got closer to the plate, so you're driving this pitch because now it's going to be down the middle. Okay, so it's going to be middle to you, so you're good. Um, the other thing I want to say is if they throw inside, take this pitch. Do not swing. So if a pitcher throws inside, do not swing. No swing. Okay? We're just not going to swing. We're just going to be like, nah, nah, I don't care. Just don't swing. Um, the second thing is pitchers in high school do not throw all speed pitches for a strike. Like your best high school pitcher has two pitches. So he could throw a fastball and a curveball for a strike. That's the best pitchers because even at my level, like three pitches is like nasty. Like you can make a living throwing only two pitches if you have two good pitches. But in high school, they didn't have, they practiced on a curveball, practiced on a slider, but they couldn't throw it for a strike. So you could eliminate it. So in high school, your best, best, best pitchers are the ones that could throw a curveball for a strike or a slider for a strike, and then they throw a fastball. So I wouldn't even swing if it was a curveball or slider. Like, I just shut it off. I was like, I'm not going to swing unless, and here's, here's the unless part, unless the pitcher has basically proven to you that he can throw the off speed for a strike. If he can throw the off speed for a strike, then I'm going to look for the off speed pitch because that guy knows, like he's feeling himself. He's like, yeah, man, I could throw a strike. You know, I, I could throw a curveball and a, for a strike whenever I want. So he's going to use that to his advantage because that's how he's getting people out in high school. So I would go up there and say, okay, I'm about to hit this guy's uh, curveball because he's proven that he could throw it for a strike. But other than that, I wouldn't go up there looking for the off-speed pitch. So you basically eliminate pitches and you eliminate uh, the curveball or eliminate the off-speed pitch until he shows you that he can throw that for a strike. So again, now you're, you're up closer and all you have to look for is this pitch right here. The pitch right in between here, right here. These pitches. Okay. And you don't swing at the off-speed pitches until they prove that they can throw it for a strike. So that's how you're going to do damage. you got the approach now to damage, do damage. Again, these guys don't throw inside in high school. Like they're scared to hit a hitter. So you, you don't even need to worry about this pitch. And it's that simple. It's like, you literally are looking for this pitch. They're teaching to throw the ball here. And maybe two strikes, they start expanding the zone. They're trying to go out here. And then this guy, who's garbage, will call it for strike three. That's literally how this game's work, game works. So that's how you're going to be able to hit for power and be consistent as a hitter at, um, in high school. And just, and just roll over, guys, because, again, you're eliminating pitches. So that's all you have to do is eliminate. And if you're over here too far away and they're throwing out here, of course you're not going to be able to get any hits. And if you do, you're going to hit little soft ground balls. So get closer to the plate and not too close. Don't get too close. Don't be right on top of it, but be close. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what you should definitely do. That's going to help you a lot. And that's what I highly recommend. And I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any more questions, um, I'm glad to help you. Let me look over my notes right now and see if I uh, have everything that I wanted to say. And that's about it. So 
I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching and uh, um, have a good day.